We're taking this old junk snowmobile and turning it into a budget built in plan. And we're going to be installing it on this 2012 Suzuki RMZ 250. I bought a junk snowmobile. This is a 1995 Players Indy. Uh, it's got a really decent track on for the price. I paid $175 for it. What I'm going to do is get the track and stuff out. The stuff I want, I'm going to get that out. I've seen people run one skids before for these snow bikes. So my next step is trying to figure out how I want to cut this up and then uh, start reattaching this unit so I'm only running on one skid. I'm going to cut this off down here and this is going to be moved down to here and I'm going to have another, I'm going to make another bracket here to hold this up so I can have adjustment for the back three wheels here. So that's what I'm going to do here and up here this is me cut down right down through here. I'm gonna keep this section right here. So I'm gonna take the saw and cut this part off right here where the shock was assembled down here. That's gonna hold this those two part pieces square. So I'm gonna get a shorter bolt and it's gonna it's gonna run about right here. I got bearings on order, so they'll be in here a couple days or so, which I'm not in a big hurry for them, so I don't really care. So next step before I actually start cut, chopping things to length, I need to determine where I want to cut my belt. Here's the belt. Um, mainly you need to just look on the inside here. It's gonna be kind of hard to operate this thing. The reason I chose this belt, if I can hold this thing, is because, it, see all the lugs on it? It's, it might be hard to see. There's, there's a lug here. That's for the spindle to grab. So there's an outside spindle, there's an inside spindle that grabs here, there's an inside spindle that grabs here, and then another outside spindle. I did this because when I cut the track off, I'm going to be losing a section of the track. Um, some tracks only have two spindles, some tracks have three, Some this one has four. I chose this one because it has four, it gives me more opportunity to design this track how I want it to be. My goal is to make this 11 inches. 11 inches is basically right on this line here. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut this off right there, right on the lug, and that's actually good because that's a lot, it's a lot less cutting for me to do it. So I did some of this work off camera, so I pretty much got all the suspension done. I think I gotta tweak some things here and there, but for the most part, this is how it's gonna be. I'm running on one skid. So like I said, I'm running this, I cut that off and I cut the bottom portion off so that's not touching at all down here. I decided to run the wheels like this um, just to help alleviate the, the, the weight tipping on it. Let's see how good this works. I'm not really sure. There's just a lot of tension on this, just this bolt. But once it's all framed up, it will all be held together. I drilled these out and retapped all these holes. I'm at the point on the snow bike over here um, where I want to start mounting it to the bike. So that means I need to start taking all the back assembly stuff off. So I'll start tearing that down and we'll get to this. Um. Packages came in today. I got uh, the sprocket. Um, this is going to go on the jack shaft. I see it's blind, but. Um, I had a hard time. I didn't really know how I wanted to do this sprocket, but I think I have a plan. And here is the, the rotor. It's a little smaller than I anticipated, but I think it'll work. This is gonna be for the brake. Um, let's see if they fit. So what I'm gonna do on this, I bought, they haven't came in yet, but I bought um, sprocket hubs that you would put on normal standard chain or cha uh, sprockets. Um, this, you can see, has uh, holes in it. Basically, that's just to remove the weight. Oh yeah, that's gonna fit good. I'm gonna put a uh, 
one inch bore um, sprocket hub on here and then I'm gonna bolt this has I might need to make these holes bigger though um, that's also gonna be bolted to a hub and then I don't have to worry about welding those to there and then if I gotta change them out I just gotta unbolt them from the hub Um, I got this mounted in the drive axle here. So I got that, I welded two brackets here. So I'm actually kind of working on mounting the swing arm in. Um, so I made this yesterday. I kind of screwed up, so I gotta cut this off here and cut it off here. I need to make this a little taller because I'm having some chain clearance issues. Um, I'm gonna put the jack shaft in right now. I got that all made. So here's the jack shaft. I was waiting for parts the other day, so I made the ski real quick. I'm not done with it yet. I gotta make some new adjustments. I'm gonna buy some piping clamps and I'm gonna clamp here and here and create a bracket and then weld down. I got the bushing kit. So here are the bushings and bearings uh, for the swing arm and the shock. I went and found some bushings. So I'm going to make the assembly. So that's just kind of where I'm at. I'm hoping to get this done. Oh, my chain, I ordered some chain. That's 520 chain for the main, the main two sprockets. And then I ordered, oh, here's my, uh, I probably should have gone with 50. This is 60 chain and sprocket. The chain hasn't came in yet, but this is the sprocket that's gonna go right here. And then the other one's over here. That goes in the jack shaft. So those came in too. So we're gonna start them making the swing arm. Next step is making this bushing right here. I bought a kit for that too. Um, that's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, so that's gonna be the next step. So I'm gonna make this. Once I get the shock attached to the swing arm, weld it to here. Uh, so I stated I need to redo this part. I'm gonna, I gotta go up about an inch so the chain clears better here. And then I will weld the swing arm to here. And then I will probably make some bracings here somehow just to make it stronger. far you must like this type of video so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other content from the Bravaholics. I got it framed now I gotta stiffen up my shock it's on a softer scale right now for my when I was on the tire I probably should have just reused the one that's on my tire if I use if I just took this off and this off and then made it work I think that would have been probably a lot easier to do but um, if I do this again next time I'll probably try to, to do that uh, so uh, so yeah it's barely balancing on its own right now like I said I'm gonna move the suspension a little bit so that's gonna be a little different these welds are sloppy so um, it's just it's what I have to work with I've said this before um, we'll see how long it lasts if it doesn't if the weld doesn't want to hold I'll have to take it to the farm and weld it with that so I have this kind of mounted for now, the jack shaft. I'm waiting on my, my chain, and then I'm gonna do some testing once I get it all. Last thing I gotta do is mount this, put the chain on, and the last of the sprockets, and I can start the pre-testing stuff, I guess, before I actually go hard on it. I wanna make sure it runs good, and I, I don't want it to break down. So this is my little mount I made. My actual, it actually wasn't really my weld that broke. It was the, bushings that I put in there to weld to it actually broke in half I was just pulling in two two different directions and it wasn't strong enough so I'm gonna use this as a wake-up call to just scrap that and start over with the suspension so what I'm either gonna do is just put a rod in there and weld it to the swing arm here somewhere first test run I've put the chains on they are not tight yet I just wanted to see 
how this is going to go. I got this as good as I think I can get it. This is helping a ton already. Point right here, it's holding it up. Probably start doing the, the brake caliper system here. That's gonna be a turd to do. I was driving the snow bike over to the farm to grab some parts and I was gonna do some touch up welding. Well, apparently some of the welds I was gonna touch up broke before I even got here. I hit a big hole over there and my swing arm snapped off. That sucks. I'm gonna grab the loader tractor and throw it in the, the loader bucket and go take it over to the tool shed and do the welding there. I fixed what I've broken. Good welder out and I added more braces here um, to help strengthen it up. This is welded way better. I got this chain tension down here in finally. So I got it all welded good now. I redid my uh, jack shaft over here. I just did that, but now I got it way too tight. And my chain tensioner for this is right here on the floor. Um, it's out right now because now that I've moved it, um, now the chain's a little, actually it's kind of perfect. Um, so my chain tensioner don't fit to the way I have it right now. So eventually I might have to put a longer one in just to make it work how I had it last time. But for now this works. I'm just going to leave it for now. I've been taking it on little test runs here and there. So I haven't really been showing it too much. I just want to make sure I have it really, sorry I'm out of breath. I want to make sure I have it really good before I show it off. So I'm just trying to work out the little kinks. It's hard to tell here, but I've had to redo this. I made my own bracket down here. It's really hard to tell because it's covered in snow. But the cast aluminum bra bracket that I, that um, the wheels were using it was just not strong enough to do what I was doing. So I made my own out of steel. So far, so good. Um, I may move these wheels back up to here. My suspension rod there is too tall, so I'm gonna cut about an inch and a half off, maybe two inches off. I don't know how excessive I wanna cut it off yet. It is like four inches, five inches, way too tall for me. I'm, I'm not that tall of a guy, I'm only about 5'9". Uh, so when I make the ski for the front, I'm actually gonna make it a little shorter just to help um, shorten it up for me. It'll be a lot easier that way. Um, as you can see, I got the ski on. And I've been trying to make this video for a while, but half the footage I made for this got deleted or lost somehow. So unfortunately, the ski part, there's no video footage of it. It's coming along. We don't have much snow right now, so I did take it for a little test ride just now. So I put a stronger bolt through here to help support the shock and, and all the leaning weight and stuff. And I also put the strap on. All right, so here's the ski that I made. Definitely rednecky, but it works. Um, so I copied the same idea of how everybody else does the skis. So I made clamps here uh, and then I, I made my own. It, it, I'm still, I'm gonna clean it up. It's very rough yet. Um, these edges are very sharp. I need to round them off. I just put this through the test runs and I got my cushions in here. It's just a foam so I don't scratch up my, my forks, but <clears throat> that's it works so far. I might put in some more support if I feel like I need to, um, but that's what's holding it on, and yeah, it's just a rod, it's solid. This is just a solid steel. It's plenty strong enough, um, so I got mobility here, which is nice, and yeah. So that's what I did on that. It took me about four hours or so to, to do that. Damn, look at that beat. That sexy beast right there. <laughs> oh, shit. 
It just tipped over. Okay. <laughs> it's snowing. Mustard. Test out the snow bike today. First time in the snow. My first time. We don't have brakes yet. Chains are a little sloppy still. I don't have, uh, it's not finished at all, but I'm going to test it out anyway. Well, I don't know if I can turn. Look at those new snow pants. Make his booty pop, don't they? Whoa! <laughs> oh man, nice and smooth. <laughs> Cut, got a zip tie down, and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far. So how's she ripped today? She is ripping awesome. Chain tensioner is working. The brakes, well, they're way better, but they're not working yet because I gotta, I gotta bleed the brake line. But we got a working snow bike, guys. We just need some, a little bit of tidying up, and uh, she'll be ready for more rides. <laughs>